Hey everyone, my name is Kyle Patterson. I'm from a company called Part-Time CFO Services, and uh, we are a previous Business Achievement Award winner. I am also a past uh, board uh, member, board chair, and so with that have served as a judge on uh, the judging committee as well. And I actually asked to create this video just as a support to those who are doing submissions. I know when you get nominated for this, the, for whatever category you're in, it can feel wonderful and then once you come in here or when you get whatever the submission pdf looks like uh, it can feel overwhelming because they're looking for a lot of information and a lot of t um, potentially it would feel like a lot of time and it's not that it's not necessarily a decent chunk of time but it is a really good opportunity to do an assessment on your current business not for or not for profit um and also it's good as a you know individual looking for business person of the year uh, on a similar similar light so what i have seen in the submission quality uh in the past is at times wonderful businesses wonderful not-for-profits wonderful individuals um with really weak submissions and so judges require some sort of guidepost towards creating an equal uh, some um, sort of judging template and scoring guide and you know we try to make it as uh, as non-subjective as possible so you may have the most wonderful organization but with the worst um, submission and realistically that submission is what has to rule the day not the most wonderful organization so I figure if you're going to be accepting your nomination and you're going to do the work towards being uh, a potential finalist and then a hopeful winner, um, it's good to just get some guidance and look at what you could do. I'm not going to go through each one of these tabs, but I'm just going to show how simple each tab is. I actually think, um, you know, under this business management, it provides some of the, the easiest pieces. So I've seen submissions come through for business management that doesn't even look like it's read this tab. Um, they just kind of had answered how, however they felt like answering. There's no backup or, or source material to help, you know, uh, show what they're claiming. And it's just this like little text paragraph or two with no substance or quality to it. And so at base one, there's a couple of identifiers in here of what it is the judges might be looking at. And it's as simple as percent of growth, customer base growth, industry standing. And so I know in our submission, I provided a sort of a 10 year chart to show our growth trajectory over that 10 year period, year over year growth. Um, also, I think I highlighted, you know, our growth of the not-for-profit sectors that we serve. And I potentially showed a map of where our customer uh, base is and, and how that base is growing. Um, and then the industry standing piece would be something potentially like a SWOT analysis or just kind of who you are in the space and what makes you stand out. Um, and then generally speaking, describing your business and entrepreneurial spirit. So what else can you put in there that describes those things? Um, so each tab has what I would consider a relatively clear base uh, foundation to start from and even if you just read this tab and did this work and you submitted based off this it would go a long way uh, to standing out the next piece to standing out is then providing quality reference material um, so as I shared that percent of growth I didn't just you know put a, a, a couple numbers I made it into a chart um, and so that people could visually see it and how I organized it for our submission was I turned, I, I created each one of these tabs as their own Word document. I put a table of contents at the top of the document. So business management, table of contents. And I think I put headers underneath that for things like, you know, percent of growth, customer base growth, industry standing. Um, and I made headings that aligned to what the tab was asking for. And then I saved it as a PDF. And then inside of this, you know, piece here, I was able to say reference the, you know, related attachment called business management. And then under here, it was just the PDF to that attachment. And that's how I organized it for, for my submission. Um, you don't have to organize it that way, obviously. It's just what uh, would work for me. Um, but as you go through each one of these tabs, it's just reading the paragraph, 
and answering that paragraph, providing reference material and organizing it somehow in a way that's easy for judges to digest. Uh, because there's a lot to digest and there's a lot of submission to read through. And, and you know, it pains a judge to see a wonderful organization not be able to make it to the finalist stage or to the winner's circle um, just because the effort with the submission didn't match the quality of the organization. So that is what I am going to provide to you today. Um, Thank you very much.